Hey everyone, it's Siobhan here. Um, today's hair idea was inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest and I tried it out a few different ways and it turned out that it looked like dragon scales to me so I really liked it. I hope you guys will too. Um, this is my first video back since being on vacation. I'm a little bit rusty um, so forgive me if this isn't like up to par or my best but uh, I hope you like it nonetheless. This hairstyle is all lace braids, but it's a little different in that you're going to be adding hair into the center section as opposed to the side. Um, I am starting with a center part. I'm just going to grab a piece of hair here from the front of my face and I'm dividing it into three for like a normal braid. I'm going to braid over, but you can braid under if you prefer, if that's a little easier for you. Um, starting with the section that's closer to my face, I'm going to fold that one first, then this one. And now I've kind of got the beginning of the braid established. I'm going to be adding hair from along the part, and like I said, instead of adding it, um, like if you were doing usually with a lace braid, you'd add it to the side, but I am adding this hair, oops, picked up too much, to the center. See? Join those two together, and then I just fold the other two strands over. I've added all of my hair in along the part and now that I've reached the end of my part which is here at the top of my head I am going to stop braiding. So I'm going to join these two strands together and for now I'm just going to use a clip like this to kind of hold them together and I'm going to use another one to just kind of keep that in place. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side of my head. When you've finished adding hair in along here, this is when you're going to combine these sections. So these two outer sections here, I'm going to combine into one strand. I'm going to hold this one here. Now that single strand that I marked off here, I just gotta find it. I'm gonna take that clip out carefully, combine those into two. And then these two are going to be another section also. You've combined your sections into three now you're just going to make a regular braid. You should have something that looks like this. Now, with your comb, this is optional, but it, it's helpful to me when I'm doing this on my own hair. I'm just going to lift this braid here for a minute, and I'm going to split the rest of my hair into two pieces. That way I have an even amount of hair on both sides of my head to work with. And I'm just going to clip one side off for now. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did in the first step and that is create a lace braid and I'm going to grab a pretty good section of hair here and I'm going to think of this braid as the part from which you add hair into it. So again, split your hair into three pieces. I always start by folding this one over first but that's again up to you doesn't really matter, I don't think. So we're going to pick up a piece of hair here, add it to the center piece, like that, and then just braid it in. So again, I've added hair all the way to the center part and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to combine two strands with a clip here and then I'm going to hold the single strand with another clip while I do this on the other side of my head. I've added all my hair in, so again I'm going to do the same thing where I combine the strands to make three. So I'm combining these two strands, I've got the single one here, and you're just going to make this braid right on top of the first one. Technically you can unravel this first braid and join this one to it, but I kind of like having them overlapping. It sort of goes in theme with the whole dragon scales thing. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing again, um, making my third tier on both sides of my head. When you finish braiding, you should have something that looks like this. And you can see that it's just three rows of these lace braids, and each one is covered 
by the one below it. So I've got these three here hanging loose. What I'm going to do before I tie them all together is I'm going to loosen these links one by one so that it looks a little bit more relaxed. I'm going to take an elastic and I think I'm going to tie it just about here. So I like having a little bit of a ponytail. To jazz up my braid, I've got a piece of suede that I'm going to wrap around the elastic um, just to make it look even more kooky. My painting skills are somewhat limited, but I thought I'd include a simple dragon scale themed nail art part to this video. You'll need a dotting tool, and the colors I chose were Essie's South of the Highway, Essie's Going Incognito, Essie's Cabana, which is one of my new favorite colors, Sally Hansen's Butterfly Stroke, and for glitter I chose Revlon's Tantalize and Sally Hansen's Golden Number One. I started by painting my nails with the neutral color South of the Highway, and I let them dry completely. Then, I began making the scales by putting some of the yellow polish onto a clean, dry surface and dabbing my dotting tool into it. Carefully, I covered the nails on my index and middle finger on both hands in a layer of yellow dots. Again, I let them dry completely before dotting the next color. I followed up with the dark green and painted those dots in between the yellow. The idea is pretty simple. You choose a few nail polishes that you like and layer dots in various colors, one on top of another, until you run out of bare nail or until the dots resemble dragon scales. This can be a little time consuming, which is why I only chose to do it on a couple of fingers, but you can do this on all your nails or just one or two like I did. Anyway, this is the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!